correction here. Uh, you do not need this to be maxed out. I don't think he matters. It's just Sim. I think Sim's the only person who matters in this quest line. I just mixed it up because I just got how Sim works wrong. Sim respawns with new text and dialogue one season after you first talk to him in this video. I'm doing the Peace on Vertunma achievement. I'm doing a guide on how to get it. I noticed that it has an 8% uh, achievement rate, so I thought I'd do a guide and help try to get that up, help a few people. It's a little convoluted, and to be completely fair, this guide is not the best guide. It is a last second guide. You could do a playthrough and maximize this the best way possible, but I personally am doing a New Game Plus run, where a past New Game has affected the choices I have right now. First of all, before you even try this, uh, you could attempt to do a Mars Dis run, or you could do what I did and just have a playthrough dedicated to Mars and the events around her, and eventually she'll try to run for mayor, go around and convince everyone to vote for her, and that will make her the mayor and knock out Lum. And this will give me a, uh, this will give you a choice to uh, make the process happen faster because it is a little slow in like base game, but a new game plus it can happen faster, like most things. Uh, I've dismaxed out. I don't know if that matters, but as far as I'm doing it, it matters for me. So just to be safe, I'd recommend maxing dis, but you can always just try to wing it without. At least max out Sim, I think he matters. But you know, talk to Sim. Oh wait, once again, second of wet, age 18. And you're gonna have a choice just say, I'm not going to stop you. And yeah, he's cool now. So uh, just be passive. Don't really do anything until Glow and after Glow passes, continue. Continuing on, I want to edit in this. Uh, don't do nothing until Glow. Do this first, right after you uh, clear up the issue with this. Uh, go to the ridge and walk all the way to Sim. It's a little bit of a maze, but it's pretty simple. I think I've shown how to walk through the area in my other guides. So talk to him and you can just spam X if you don't care about dialogue. There's nothing that actually matters here in his choice list. And you will finish it. Now I would personally recommend uh, doing this first well while you're here continue on through and just run on down and I'm actually flying blind here either it's gonna just be a, an event flag or it's gonna be a thumper if it's a thumper you're getting something out of the way but it may not be it is a thumper all right so when you're here press X on the thumper and just press X a bunch it doesn't matter and go back to camp and rest or do anything really until glow. Come back. It is the first of quiet, age 19, it's right after the attack. Uh, it doesn't matter what you do in the attack because uh, if you help an enemy, nothing happens. You get a slight boost, I think, to rebellion if you do a certain choice or whatever. So, yeah, talk to uh, Sim. You need to come with me now. Uh, so, you go there, yeah. and bodies are icky, whatever. And uh, two ways you can do it. Play it cool if you have 26 bravery, or you can do this if you've already done this once. Uh, this is just shorter, and I think you have a stat check, not a stat check, you have a, uh, like a, a card game if you do play it cool. This is fast, if you, I'm just going through the fast way, but nothing's truly that different if you go with the bravery check. Humans can we change, help us. Meeting the Overseer. And these are the same. Terrified, or you can make him laugh and say he needs to get out more. And he has another event. Immediately you can talk to the Overseer again. And this, wait. Human Nature Preserve, check that. 
I'll try my best. And then we're visiting glow season. And now you are on limited time. The faster you do this stuff and complete it, the better. I'll tell you how they work too. You get Sims Curiosity Tier 3. They're pretty good cards. All right, and we're back. It is now the second of Quiet, age 19, and uh, talk to her. Whatever. Oh, and now she has dialogue, new dialogue. She's gonna say something. He's off again. And here is the thing that you need it for, right? Once again, let me remind you, Mars does not matter at all relationship-wise. You'll get this option if you've already elected her as governor once, in a past life. I dreamed you were governor. Pick this. And it suddenly starts. Pick yes, I agree. I don't know if it matters, but I would recommend just going with a surefire yes, ma'am. She'll assemble the friends, and they'll start talking. If you have 50 persuasion and 70 rebellion, you yourself can try to go. But I'd recommend just rallying behind Mars, because I don't have the uh, persuasion needed. Uh, but let me explain a few things after this, right? Now you have a hidden quest. Talk, go, pretty much do every single task in the time you have left and convince people. Let me save you some time. The steward will only join in if you have three people supporting you. Furthermore, Cal is the first one you can go to, and he will immediately back you up. I don't know if you have to talk to him to do it, but I know going into here does it. Relax in the park. I, literally anything you pick here leads you to talking to them, no matter what. I think it overwrites any other quest or event that would happen that day, if you have the pull thing. Cal is your first one, and it's guaranteed. I'm not going to cut the video, really, because it's... Well, I'm not going to cut it unless I get a puzzle. So yeah, there's that. And by the way, uh, Utica is alive. Where is she? There she is. She's alive. But you don't need her to be alive for this. Uh, do not bring the deal to Lum. Do not. I don't know if you get the chance again to bring it up with Mars, but I recommend playing it safe. Uh, but I am organized, yeah. And, right, you only need a bit here. And that shows that I've never done this before, really. And deliver supplies, and now you can convince her. And Uticit saves you from spending 100 kudos. But if Uticit's dead, you can, of course, give him 100 kudos and he'll do it. Or you can do, I think, a convincing mini game. Uh, once again, make him pick Mars. And stress through that, who cares? I'd recommend not fully stressing through stuff. That's two people. And now you have Lady Down South, and Instance, and Stewardess, and Rhett. You have four other people about uh, repair robots. Instance is going to be a little bitch. I think you have to do a thing here, persuasion check. Remember to use your cards tactically, or brute force like me, because I don't care. I'm doing this a little dirty. Uh. Sorry that I'm showing you the puzzles in the video. But I think it's somewhat important to show just walking around, and it's pretty fast though. Now that you've done that, you can go here. You have three people backing you, and you can immediately get uh, relax in the lounge and do this. You have no stat check here. If you have three people backing you, she'll back you. And if you don't, she'll say, get three people, I'll back you. And finally, we have the stewardess and Rhett. You have a stat check for both Rhett and the stewardess. I think Rhett's is harder. So just go here, and I'd recommend, once again, relaxing. This saves you uh, any stress you need to use to power through. Mars is the future of the colony. Might as well just go immediately to this. I'm screwed up, and you know it. Oh wait, never mind, yeah. Pick that. 
if you can slow down the video, pick the choices I picked. Tell them that Mars screwed up, uh, not Mars, uh, Lum screwed up and you know it. And you'll get him peacefully. Appeal to the soldier in him. And you can go anywhere. I'm just gonna go to the ridge, because I know the ridge best. And talk to her, she's the last one. And she'll start off, Phoenician mention, Marzipan. Which is a lot less. Remember what you did to your arm, and then she still, I think, puts up a fight. Her hunting is dangerous. Yeah, no matter what, she'll go in and be a bitch. Not really. But, uh... Yeah, sorry if you don't like... Oh, wait. That's all. That overrides that? That's cool. Yeah, be careful, and by now you should have some powerful cards. Uh, you're gonna need powerful cards, FYI. Because there is a heavy stack check later on. Go home. Actually, and now there's an election. It is the first of dust. I think it happened just in time. She's gonna go on the stage. I'd recommend backing her up. I don't know if this affects it. Uh, you're gonna see uh, Governor Mark Feature pick that. Let the council vote. She is gonna help you, but Yuriki can be dead, and it can still work out. Now there's a few more things, just blitz through this, right? Two Mars, alright cool. Watch the swearing in ceremony. And now Marzipan is the new leader of the bunch. And now you're gonna have to blitz through a bit. She's gonna talk and she's gonna show you her like neo-African dictator look. I don't know what she's going for here, but it looks cool I guess. First on your toes, fuck around, that'll give you some friendship. But come around. Doesn't really matter though. Get a cool card. Talk to her again. Just free her up, right? And you get a new thing. But go here. Bring the overseer's deal to Mars. I was scared at first when I first did this, but Mars does listen. Tell her about the overseer's offer. I always go for this because last time I did it, the Lum believes you if you tell him about the Overseer's offer. If you tell him about Sim, he says that's bullshit. It's weird, but that's how it is. Always pick the uh, Overseer's offer. We'll come up with a new way to live. And now you can just rest and relax until the, the end of the game. And I'll tell you what to do there. It's pretty cut and dry, but you have three massive skill checks. And uh, my cards will be different from your cards, and I would personally recommend, uh, let me just pull it up, having a bunch of collectibles. Even these plus twos, the very few plus twos, I'd recommend having those cards. Just have items to help you through. And now it is glow. For once, it's unique. Same old, same old. Uh, and by the way, no matter what, he will show up if you have the chance to bring the Overseer's offer. He's gonna be a bitch, but Mars is gonna be chill. And he's gonna pick these things. We need a better deal. Alright, cool, whatever. And now you have a persuasion check. I have terrible persuasion, but you know, whatever. So, you're gonna have to go through this. Uh, brute force it with stress. I wouldn't recommend it though. I'd recommend saving stress for whatever is the hardest one. So, so I'll meet you after this. But you've hopefully breezed through this. Uh, it'll take 10 stress naturally. And now he's gonna have a reasoning check. So you start that. This, and you have one final one, an animals check. Pretty much he's calling out all your bullshit. It's supposed to sort of be like a final boss card thing. And to be fair, it is pretty hard to a degree. 